on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the way we normally do it and i'm always here to give you guys update that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes um yesterday was a very disappointing day for us um because we all were hoping that chelsea would do the needful but they did not do the needful but whichever one there is still hope one leg in one leg out them to one leg in one leg out so the returning game we decide our fate if we we'll still remain in the Carabao uh, fa cup or not but even at that i'm here to share one or two things with you guys that it concerns your club most especially your players and all the rest so that i can drop your own thoughts and opinion towards those things i want to talk about but before i push forward to everything i want to share with you guys please kindly like this video share subscribe follow this page because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone my name is peters yes um so far so good i know that there is no pressure on Mauricio Pochettino. everything seems to be okay everybody's relaxed i'm fine because so far so good the losses this period has not been that much you don't say what we are say chelsea lose you understand apart from that match we we'll lose against Middlesbrough since towards towards the ending of last year it was really friendly for us the, the january period it was also friendly for us the, we got to the final of the Carabao cup it's, it has always been friendly for us and also talking about home game this period chelsea has really maintained that stand when it comes to playing at home and i appreciate them for for that for the past three months right now they have been holding their ground when it comes to home game football you get me but even at that uh Mauricio pochettino i know that there's no much pressure on him nothing nothing but there is also a tax. He has it. There is a target. The target is make sure you get to one of these European competition. Make sure you get to one of them, either the Champions League, the Europa uh, League, or the Conference. You just have to be in one of these European competition. Take it or leave it. Because if he fails to qualify for any of these competitions. Now, dear, your own pressure start. Oh, for now, we just everybody just they they on the chill, they look up. If he fails to qualify, there his pro his problem starts. Because as for yesterday game, I know that some people are saying I, I talk as if I was backing up Pochettino. If you watch very well, I talk from this angle, I talk from the other angle. And I also say that share your thoughts to towards the game. And I listen to some people's comments. 90% of people that commented yesterday we are blaming Pochettino for Chelsea draw yesterday. They were blaming the coach for the draw yesterday. I understand. We needed to win the game, no doubt. You understand that side. You get me? I understand that we needed to win. But whichever one, it don't happen, it don't happen. You understand? It's just left for us now to do the needful at um, Park, uh, uh, Villas Park. So... Posh needs to understand his players. He needs to know how to use them very well. Not switching them. Switch today, you switch tomorrow. If you get it right today, tomorrow you get it wrong. Next tomorrow, you make it worse. You should stop doing that. If you are getting it right with this set, use that set. Use your killer sets and do the needful. You get me? Then, talking about goalkeeper, so far so good. I've been hearing this trend online saying that uh, Sanchez will soon come back. Fine, Sanchez will soon come back. These people are saying if Sanchez come, we go bench Petrovic. Sanchez come, we go. Those they say Petrovic, no, if he will stand the, this thing, say once Sanchez come now, Petrovic go catch bench. But so far so good. Checking this guy's record. He has played about 11 games, 10 or 11 games, if I'm not mistaken, for the club. And he has considered seven in seven games and he has kept four kept four clean clean sheets for himself four clean sheets go and verify this information i'm giving to you 11 games considered seven and kept four clean sheets why sanchez out of 16 19 games played both the premier league and the league cup he has played 19 games he has considered 23 goals sorry as he has considered 23 goals and, and and kept five clean sheets with two yellow card two yellow card five clean sheets considered 23 goals 
in 19 games. Why this young lad has all has only played 11, considered 7, and maintained 4 clean sheets? No yellow card. And if you check the two of them, it's not that I'm singing praises on Petro Vico, but it would be very, very disappointing say Sanchez could just come. Pochettino could just carry and put immediately. If you do like that, already, don't already be bad for me. For as in Pochettino, they bad for me as a Chelsea coach. Then if he can't do that one, he go over they bad. See a person just come back from injury. Imagine say this Liverpool game now. You can't they say press conference before the game. God they say uh, Sanchez is going to be available for uh, Liverpool game. Liverpool game instead of Petro Vicky, they see Sanchez. I go very, very very disappointed. Because I know waiting this guy they do. I know the kind of composure way San- away this Petro V gets. Take it or leave it. Eh? When I watch the two of them, at some point I feel like I I I I am more relaxed when Petrovic is keeping than when Sanchez is at the goal post. I'm more relaxed with Petrovic than Sanchez. I don't know for you guys who we can drop your thoughts and your opinion towards this. I am more relaxed with Petrovic than San- Sanchez. Though, though. We sign Sanchez for a big amount of money. We're not going to compare their fee. The fee, the fee, they different. Petrovic was 14 million pounds. Why Sanchez was 25 million pounds. So definitely, 25 million pounds go keep her coming back from injury. No, keep her for bench. You get me? You know, go keep her for bench. So I, I would like to hear your own thoughts towards this Sanchez and Petrovic. But for me, like I said, I feel relaxed when... That young boy is at the goalpost. Imagine no yellow card. Sanchez on collect two. To tell you how discipline, the, dis- the disciplinary level between these two goalkeepers, they. You get me. I know say you never play much, but at least the little you don't play, you don't see the impact. Our game against Aston Villa yesterday, you see him. You understand? Then talking about players so far, we say, when you see them, you go on the verse whether you should say. They really want to improve. I be at some point they come there as if they don't they tire, as if they no one play. You see, Mudrik and Madueke, these left and right wingers, this young lad. It's not that they will not play; they will play. But even at that, even at that, see, Palmer will be signed con club. From day one, he, he hit the ground, starts the day run, until today he still they run. They win a award for himself. They do things. That is Pama. Because he know waiting they come for. And he know club when he come. He know the demands where they involve. He knows that he needs to be serious for him to be in this place. But I don't know what is wrong with Mudrik and Madweke. Forget the fact that initial Gragra when just used to when Pochettino bring him up. For two or three of our, of our games so far, initial gragra, I I am not comfortable with that Madweki, because in style of football, you see they play children football for me for my for, at the way I see a children football, all these uh, Lagos game where they, they play they will play in any way they shoot and boom you shoot the next person man come out, bruising and tackling nine they play, you need to calm down play ball as a winger you drive if you know fist score creates. What he make Palmer Palmer now, apart from the goals when they score, the assists in work rates. That is why it vests me say you look Palmer finish, you carry Palmer go play as nine. We be say he's supposed to play like ten or that's in right wing so that he go they work for you. Palmer like to they free, they like pressure. He like to work, he like to score from anywhere on a free outside, not in a place that is more pressurized. Do you get me? So Madweke need to sit up. Mudrik need to sit up. Even this year we go loan we no go loan him. He go play. We no go sign player close to hundred million pounds. Then he go come the do this thing. Mudrik need to sit up. Not be the whole boy at first. The first time he come, he go they carry iron up and down. See the club tell and say calm down. Not be to they carry iron every day. At least that one don't reduce. That one don't reduce because. All the iron way they carry, we need to see him for pitch. 
Still here, person touch you tomorrow, you don't fall. Mujik need to sit up. Mujik need to understand himself. Sometimes I feel like, is it that we made a mistake signing this guy? Or is he in the wrong club? Or what? I don't just know. Sometimes I just ask myself these questions then. But he just needs to sit up. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Mujik needs to sit up. You understand? But whichever one, I will not write him off. I know that with time, he will come. You understand? Then, talking about um, the transfer window. Well, remaining how many days remaining? Uh, how many days remaining for the transfer window to close? Like four, five, if I'm not mistaken. Four or five days remaining. And Chelsea have not even adjust or nothing not okay remaining like four days remain four days remaining for the transfer window to close and nothing has happened no strike has signed according to how we were speculating sometime last year nothing has happened but hopefully we we'll just believe that um something might happen but if nothing happened that means we should stick we'll stick to the ones that we already have yeah to the summer transfer you understand? I know that some of you feel like uh, there's no much pressure on Portugal. No pressure day that guy, ma- man, but you, he has to qualify for one of these European competition, whether he likes it or not. He has to qualify. That is the simple truth. Then not only that, um, he showed me. He, um, I'm very confident that um, we should be having Malugusto and Christopher Nkunku, um against Liverpool this midweek. Should be having Christopher Nkunku and Malugusto. But, well, I'm not more into the Christopher Nkunku thing again because even the boy itself, you know, they give me joy. Since we were signer, I never even, I never feel the impact. You can't be like, so we waste funds for that side. Never feel the impact. You get me? I never feel the impact. But all the same, today, now, Nigeria versus Cameroon. We'll go know who go remain and we'll go know who go come out. So, guys, that'll be all for now. I will do it to drop your thoughts and your concern. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe, follow this page because of this channel. I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters. Thank you very much for watching.